गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स एस्टरडे वी स्टडी कार्टिजियन फॉर्म एंड पैरामेट्रिक फॉर्म ऑफ नॉर्मल एंड टैंजेंट इक्वेश टू द कोनिक्स फॉर सर्किल पैराबोला एलिप्स एंड हाइपरबोला फॉर्म इन टाइप्स टू टाइप्स वन इज कार्टिजियन फॉर्म ऑफ टैंजेंट एंड अनदर वन इज पैरामेट्रिक फॉर्म ऑफ द कोनिक ओके राइट now today <coughs> we are going to derive the conditions for tangency okay tangency condition for the line condition for the line condition for the line y equal to mx plus y equal to mx plus condition for the line y equal to mx Let's see. To be a tangent, to be a tangent, to be a tangent to the conic sections, to the conic sections, conic sections. Okay. What I am going to, uh, to do? I am going to derive the condition for the line y equal to mx plus c. This is a straight line equation. Y equal to mx plus c, slope intercept form. Okay. So we are going to derive the condition for the straight line y equal to mx plus c to be a tangent to the conic sections. If it is a tangent to the circle, then what is the condition? Right. And if it is tangent to the parabola, then uh, what is the condition for tangency? If it is uh, tangent to the ellipse, then what is the condition for tangency? If it is tangent to the hyperbola then what is the condition of tangency we are going to derive okay first for circuit for the circuit for the circuit and taking standard equation x square plus y square equal to s square for this circuit i am going to derive the condition okay condition of tangency so this is the circuit okay center is origin radius is c i am taking one point p x on y okay i am taking the point p x on y i will derive the i will derive the equation of tangent what is the equation of tangent s1 equal to in the same point at the same point i will take y equal to mx plus c as a tangent line right let y equal to mx plus c say one be the tangent be the tangent be the tangent to the circle be the tangent to the circle x square plus y square is equal to s so what i have taken here i have taken one straight line which is in the slope intercept point y equal to mx plus c as a tangent to the circle okay so i am taking one more point on the circle uh, and let p x on y sorry Here P x one y one be the point, be the point on circle on circle x square plus y square equal to s. Okay, uh, at P at P um, equation of tangent equation of tangent equation of tangent s one equal to s. What is s one? X x one. Plus y y one minus a square equal to this is equation two. Okay, equation two. Right. This tangent equation two and equation one represent same equations. Why? Because this equation already I have taken as y equal to mx plus c, and for this tangent we will have one point point of tangency. At that point, at that point I am taking as x one y one. Using that point, I derive uh, another tangent equation. At one point, how many tangents possible? Only one tangent possible. So equation one, equation two, both represent same tangent lines. Okay. Now we have y equal to m x plus c, m x plus c. Write in. Uh, Proper uh, form m x minus y plus c is equal to zero. Okay. 
and and why we derive the equation x x one plus y y one minus a square is equal to r two tangents r tangents tangents at p at p so both represent same equation both represents same equation why because at one point we can draw only one tangent both represent represents same equations same equations if they are same equation comparing the coefficients from the both equation by comparing both equation by comparing both equations comparing the comparing both equations In comparing both equations here x square x coefficient is m from this from this equation x coefficient is x coefficient is m here x coefficient is x1 equal to here compare the y coefficient minus 1 from this equation y1 and here constant is c and here what is the constant minus s square okay i got this relation from this relation by equating these two i will get x1 okay i am equating these two m by x1 is equal to minus c by s square uh, what is x1 x1 is equal to m a square by minus c this is x1 right by comparing these two minus 1 by y1 is equal to minus c by s square minus minus cancel y1 equal to a square by c okay a square by c now see i got x1 y1 which is p coordinates x1 y1 x1 is m a square by minus c y1 is a square by c so this is point of contact coordinates if you know point of if you know tangent equation and circle equation circle equation you can find the point of contact using this formula okay you should remember a square is uh, you can get from the circle equation m is x coefficient c is constant in the straight line using that uh, values you can keep in this point you will get the point of tangency if you have tangent equation and circle equation which circle equation x square plus y square equal to a square then you can find the point of contact using this right what we are going to derive here condition of tangency see p point lies p point lies on tangent and circle what is tangent equation given equation this is the given equation y equal to x plus so i will substitute this point of contact in this equation i will substitute point of contact what we got p substitute p in this equation what is y coordinate a square by c y coordinate and m what is x coordinate m a square by minus c right plus this now by simplifying a square by c Minus m square, a square. I'm taking c LCM c square. C c cancel on both sides. So a square plus m square into a square is equal to c square. Now by taking a square common, a square plus one m square is equal to c square. This is condition of tangency. This is the condition of tangency. already in uh, circles before uh, first exercise we derived this formula okay this is the uh, condition of tangency of a straight line to be a tangent to the circle okay first conic is uh, circle so this is the point of tangency formula and this is point of contact formula to find the point of contact use this formula to show a line is a uh, tangent to the circle use this formula okay right now i am going to derive condition of tangency of a straight line to the parabola second for the parabola for the parabola i am taking standard equation y square equal to x okay here i will take one point there uh, this is the tangent y equal to mx plus 
So I am taking uh, tangent line y equal to mx plus c to this standard parabola at point p, where p I will take as x1 y1. Okay. Now so, let us derive the condition of tangency. Let y equal to mx plus c. Y equal to mx plus c be the tangent equation. Tangent equation to the parabola. To the parabola, to the parabola, y square equal to 4x at at any point at any point p x on y. So what I have taken, I have taken y equal to mx plus c b as a tangent to the parabola at any point p x on y. But any point, it is tangent. No, it will touch at least. Uh, exactly by right one point. That point coordinates I have taken as x1 y1. Using this x1 y1, again we can derive the tangent equation. If it is s equal zero, parabola equation s equal zero. If you consider as s equal zero, then tangent equation s1 equal zero, right? We know that. We know that tangent tangent to the ellipse to the parabola parabola y square equal to 4x y square equal to 4x at p x1 y1 is what is the equation how to derive if you have y square what i said write y y1 4a of if you have x r y term write x plus and divide the coefficient by 2 and in place of x write x x1 x plus x1 right now you can get one equation here y y1 uh, is equal to 2a of x plus x1. Write in proper uh, form first x term, next y term, next constant. What you get? 2ax by sending y y1 and this side y y1 minus y y1 um, plus 2ax1 is equal to 0. This is say this first tangent as 1, this is 2. 1 and 2 both are tangent at the same point. So at the one point we can draw only one tangent. Okay. At one point on the conic you can draw only one tangent. So one and two both are tangent equations at one point. That means one and two represent same equation. Okay. Again I will compare both the equations. So write down. We have we have y equal to mx plus c y equal to mx plus c I am writing in proper form mx minus y plus c equal 0 and 2ax minus y y1 plus 2ax1 plus 2ax1 is equal to 0 right mx minus y plus c equal 0 and 2ax minus y y1 plus 2ax1 equals 0. Are two tangents. Are two tangents at P. Both represent same equation. But both represent represents same equation. Same tangent. Same tangent. Why? Because at one point on the conic, one tangent is positive. So they are not different equations, both are same. So by comparing both by comparing both the equations, comparing both the equations, both the equations. By comparing the both the equations, I am comparing these two equations. Here x coefficient is 1, m by in this x coefficient 2a is equal to here y coefficient minus 1 and here y coefficient minus y1 right <coughs> yes minus y1 here constant is c here constant is 2a x1 2a x1 okay right now i will find x1 y1 from this relation here what is constant this is constant so constant and this term by comparing constant this term you will get x1 by comparing by comparing constant and second term you will get pi 1 right i am comparing these two first m by 2a 
m by 2 a is equal to c by 2 a x one. By cross multiplication, what do we get? Uh, here 2 a 2 a get cancelled. X one is equal to c by m. X one equal to c by m. Next, by comparing these two, m by 2 a is equal to minus 1 by minus y1. Okay, minus minus get cancelled. y1 equal to 2a by a. Right? Now, therefore, p point o r s x1 y1 is equal to c by m 2a by a. These are the point of tangency. Right? Point of contact a by m c equal to a by m a by m square 2 a by m. a by m square y1 by Okay, C by M, C by M to A by M. Okay, right. Now, this is point of contact. I got point of contact. To get the uh, condition, you have to substitute, put this, put this in y equal to mx plus c. y equal to mx plus c. Why? Because this is point on the conic end as well as this point. This line equation. Now substitute y coordinate in place of y, you will get 2a by m equal to m into x is c by m plus c. Okay, so here m m get cancelled. m m get cancelled. 2a by m is equal to 2c. 2 to, 2 to cancel c equal to a by m. c equal to a by m. So this is condition of tangency where uh, a straight line uh, in the form of y equal to mx plus c is a tangent to this parabola the condition is c equal to a by m, a by m and this is point of contact to get the point of contact use this formula to show the straight line is tangent to the parabola use this formula c equal to a by m right okay now similarly you can derive condition of tangency for ellipse also now Third one, third coding helps. For the ellipse, for the ellipse, x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Here p, I am taking one tangent which is y equal to mx plus c at some point x1 by y1. Same procedure for every conic, right? Just we have to derive s1 equal to 0. Comparing with this, you will get the x1, y1. Then keep in straight lines, you will get the condition, okay? Now, let y equal to mx plus c. I will write in proper way. That is, mx minus y plus c is equal to 0. Be the tangent. Be the tangent. Tangent to the ellipse. Tangent to the ellipse, ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. Is equal to 1, right? At any point, at any point p x1 y1. At any point p x1 y1. We know that, again, we know that tangent, equation of tangent. Equation of tangent tangent to the ellipse to the ellipse to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 at p x1 y1 is what s1 equal 0 what is s1 equal 0 how to derive in place of x square what i said write x x1 by a square in place of y square write y y1 by b square is equal to 1 right in proper way how we can write xx1 by a square 
plus y y one by t square minus one is equal to zero. This is two. One and two both are tangents at one point. That means both represent same tangent equations. Okay. Now write down one and two. So we have we have mx minus y plus c equal to zero and x x one by a square y y one by b square minus one equal to zero are two tangents are tangent equations tangent equations at p both represent same equations both represent represents same tangent both represent same tangent by comparing both by comparing both comparing both we get here x coefficient m here x coefficient what is x coefficient in this equation except this x x1 by a square is equal to here y coefficient minus 1 here y coefficient y1 by b square here constant c here constant minus 1 now comparing these two you will get x1 and comparing m by m by 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 simplifying what do you will get m a square by x1 is equal to minus c okay minus c by comparing these two how we can write this minus b square by y1 is equal to minus c from this x1 equal to minus m a square by c here y1 equal to c by b square c by b square y1 is c by b square okay c by b square no no y1 by b square by c Sorry, here by sending y1 at right hand side, bring this c at left hand side, you will get b square by c by one. So point of contact coordinates x1 by one. That is minus m a square by c b square by c is the formula to find point of contact when tangent and ellipse equation is given. Now I need um, condition of tangency. Okay, substitute p. Substitute p p in y equal to mx plus c. Right? Left hand side y coordinate. What is y coordinate? B square by c. In place of y, I will substitute b square by c. M into x coordinate minus m a square by c plus c. Left hand side b square by c. Right hand side minus m square. A square plus by taking LCM C square by C C C cancel that equal to B square bring this at left hand side M square and A square is equal to C square so therefore condition of tangency is C square equal to M square A square plus B square right this is condition of tangency to the ellipse. Condition of tangency to the ellipse. Okay. So similarly, for the hyperbola also, you can derive the condition of tangency. So you, I derived for circle, parabola, and ellipse. You derived the uh, point of contact coordinates and condition of tangency to the hyperbola also. Okay. You derive in the, in your notes. Now, note, right now. The equation of tangent, the equation of tangent, the equation of tangent to the parabola 
put the parabola parabola y square equal to 4 a s can be taken as can be taken as y equal to mx plus c c equal to what we got point of tangency a by u you can use if if you have slope of the tangent you can use this formula to uh, write the equation of tangent a is available in the parabola equation he will give m slope or he will give the uh, theta by using theta you can find the slope and you can put the slope and a value you will get the tangent equation so if you need tangent equation you can take in this form also slope form okay slope form uh, any uh, tangent equation to the parabola in slope form means you have to write this y equal to mx plus a by n now one for no two for ellipse equation of tangent equation of tangent to the ellipse to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 can be taken as can be taken as y equal to mx plus r minus y because what we got c square equal to uh, a square into m square plus b square for condition of tangents from this we can get c c equal to what plus r minus square root of a square plus m square a square m square plus b square okay you can keep in, in plus of y equal to mx plus c in plus of plus c what we got plus r minus square root of a square m square plus b square you can take tangent equation to the ellipse in this form okay two tangents you will get for the hyperbola this is for ellipse for the hyperbola equation of tangent equation of tangent to the circle uh, to the hyperbola to the hyperbola x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1 can be taken as can be taken as taken as y equal to mx plus if you derive the uh, condition of tangency to the hyper hyperbola you will get like this a square m square minus b square for ellipse plus is there no for hyperbola you will get minus here from this you will get c plus r minus square root of a square m square minus b square so in place of c i am writing root of a square minus m square minus b square so this is the equation of tangent equation of tangent in slope form if you need equation of tangent you can use this formula when slope is available okay So in this see plus and minus any one will be the tangent but not both tangents okay if you take plus that may be tangent or minus may be tangent both not tangents okay for parabola and hyperbola also write some uh, result write some results write some results in your test book uh, it is there results uh, proof left to the reader okay without proof some definitions are given director circle director circle definition of director circle to the ellipse to the ellipse to the ellipse x square by a square y square by b square is equal to 1 the circle the circle the circle x square plus y square equal to a square plus b square is known as is known as director circle known as director circle director circle Okay, it's a director circle definition. 
नेक्स्ट डायरेक्ट सर्किल फॉर हाइपरबोलर फॉर हाइपरबोलर फॉर हाइपरबोलर एक्स स्क्वे बै ए स्क्वे मैनस वै स्क्वे बै बी स्क्वे इज ईक्वल टू वन द सर्किल द सर्किल एक्स स्क्वे प्लस वै स्क्वे इज ईक्वल टू ए स्क्वे मैनस बी स्क्वे इज नौन एस डायरेक्टर सर्किल नौन एस डायरेक्टर सर्किल डायरेक्टर सर्किल ओके राइट लाइक वन एग्जांपल लेट आई वन एग्जांपल ओके इज इट ओवर राइट वन एग्जांपल प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द टेंजेंट फाइंड द टेंजेंट Find the tangent to the parabola to the parabola to the parabola by square equal to four x by square equal four by by square equal four x sorry by square equal four x at the point at the point one comma two find the tangent equation find the tangent to the parabola by square equal 4x at the point 1 comma solution how to given parabola given parabola i am taking as by square equal to 4x at p 1 comma equation of tangent we are going to find equation of tangent at point p is s1 equal to 0 what is s1 for this y y1 माइनस फोर क्वेश्चन डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो टू ऑफ एक्स प्लस एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सब्सट्रूट पॉइंट इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वन एंड वाई वन व्हाट यू गेट वाई ऑफ टू माइनस टू इनटू एक्स प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो टू वाई माइनस टू एक्स माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू एक्स माइनस टू वाई प्लस टू इक्वल जीरो इज द टेंजेंट इक्वेशन इफ यू नीड नॉर्मल इक्वेशन फाइंड द स्लोप एंड यूज द पॉइंट Find the slope of tangent. Find the perpendicular slope. Use this point. You will get the normal equation for the tangent. Okay. Right. Now one more problem. Example two. If y equal to x plus k, y equal to x plus k is the tangent. Is the tangent to the parabola. To the parabola, parabola y equal to four x. Y equal to x plus k is the para is the tangent to the parabola y square equal to four x. Then find k. Then find k. Okay. Then to find k, what is the condition? We have to compare solution. Given equation, given tangent. The given tangent y equal to x plus k, comparing with comparing with y equal to mx plus c. What is c here? K. What is m here? One. Okay. Uh, from parabola, from y square equal to four x. What is a value? Four a equal to four a equal to one. By comparing y square equal to 4ax, 4a will be 4a equal to 1. Now condition of tangency, we know condition of tangency. Why because it is tangent to the parabola, no? so I am using condition of tangency. Condition of tangency. C equal to a by f. What is c? k. Here substitute the value. c is k, a is 1, m is 1. So k value 1. So I am using condition of tangency to get k value. Okay. And c equal to a by m is condition for y square equal to 4x. y square equal to 4x standard parabola only. If it is x square equal to 4a y, then how to find k value? How I derive the how I derive the tangency of condition of tangency? Same procedure you have to apply. Uh, parabola is another type of parabola is given. Then use that procedure. How I derive the condition? No, 
use the same procedure if this standard parable is given then you can directly use this condition okay it is better to use that pro procedure only sometimes uh, if you remember you can remember this part of contact to coordinates formula and uh, condition of tangency also okay so in similar way uh, few problems are there in the exercise you do that problems as homework okay thank you